to do a couple special tests for the shoulder. First one's going to be um, O'Brien's, which is testing for uh, possible slap lesion. So what I want you to do is to have your arm out in front of you for me, please, and then putting a little towards the middle. And I want you to put your thumb all the way to the ground for me. I'm going to do a resistive <coughs> motion. I want you to try to resist me as much as you can. If there's any pain, clicking, or anything like that, you let me know, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Any pain or anything like that? No. Great, okay. And I want you to uh, flip your um, thumb all the way up to the sky for me, please. And same thing. Three, four, five. Any pain with that? No. So it would be uh, positive if she felt a pain in the shoulder with external rotation or if there's any clicking uh, sensations. Next we're going to do Hawkins Kennedy. You can relax your arm. Uh, we're going to have arm up for me, please. I'm going to come underneath here. And basically all I'm going to be doing, I just want you to relax your arm. I'm going to bring it to a little more medial. I'm going to put a pressure here. I just want you to let me know if you feel any pain or anything like that in your shoulder, okay? okay. Any pain with that? Good. So that would be a negative test for um, impingement. Uh, next we're going to do uh, the load and shift, which is for glenerol humeral uh, laxity or instability. So what we're going to do is we're going to come onto the scapula and stabilize with clavicle and the actual scapula. I'm going to grab the head of the humerus, push it into the glenerol humeral joint, and I'm going to push forward and backwards, testing the degree <coughs> of laxity in the shoulder. Any pain with that? No. Good. So that would be a negative test for glenerohumeral instability. 